So what, what's the what's the difference between them? The the one on the PS5, I don't think they changed any story, but they like really cleaned it up. More than the PS4? Yes. I mean, like what significantly. Was there to, what was there to clean up? It's just because the PS5 is such a is more powerful. It can like the lines are crisper. Um, I think they cleaned they really up. called it a re remaster. <laughs> Putting on his radio voice. So. Oh <laughs> my. Having way too much fun with that. Her voice. She's not a bad actress. I like her in other stuff on HBO and whatever. In that role, I did not like her. She's the one whose brother. Jesus, under the star. Oh, that. What a bunch yes. of nerds. So I mean, typically this is where we would introduce ourselves. Hello. Thank you for joining us for the how not to run a YouTube channel. Trust me, I, I mean, I'll speak for us, not not this guy here, but we are pros at how not to run a YouTube what, channel. I don't run. know, I think I'd give you a run for your money on that one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, first of all, a huge thank you to All-in-One Gaming Expo. What an amazing convention, amazing awesome. expo. Hard to believe that it's their first year. Uh, super accommodating people that put it on. Uh, amazing people that have put it on. They've done a lot of research. They've done a lot of uh, numbers, you know, for years now. I believe Brandon yeah, was telling us. Yeah, a couple us. Of years now. And uh, the vendors, the artists, the creators. There's the man of the hour. In fact, we we're just singing his praises. But the amazing, <laughs> the amazing work that has gone into this convention makes it feel like it is not its first year at all. So, and thank you for even considering us for a panel. That's Absolutely. all too sweet. Absolutely. Uh, so, first of all, my name is Tom. This is my wife, Lady Lacey, and we are Do You Nerd a Variety Channel, and we cover everything about uh, anything that we nerd out about. If it's comic books, if it's uh, video games, tabletop games, toys, this one especially. Plushies, uh, don't forget plushies. We also like to do a convention and event coverage videos, whether or not it's a Renaissance Festival or conventions such as these, give people an idea of if it's something they want to check out, either as a vendor or an attendee. And joining us, the uh, the equally yeah. lovely. Show me retro. Um, I am the, the old guy of the group, probably older than, I bet you, Tom, maybe. I, I started this late in life, but I, I, I proved that you can start a YouTube channel in your later years and, and actually do okay at it um, with, with minimal effort. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, I do a little bit of everything, probably a lot less. You guys are probably more, have more, like sit around a few things. I am all over the place, but I like that and I, and I don't care. I, it could be getting a strip screw out of a switch or it could be ranting about something or it could be a review of something. It's just literally, uh, or reshelling. It's just all over the place. And I do what I want to do, and that's probably why I'm sitting here because it's how not to run a YouTube channel. So, YouTube well, does not like that algorithm. No, whatever they, they don't. They don't. That Actually, is. even comment sections don't like that. Uh, when you do do something that people like, and then you stop, I get you know heard about it. I mean, uh, people literally like. I want want you to do that more. I'm like. No, because I did a video that I'm not doing that anymore, so I can't do that. That would be hypocritical. And they're like, yeah, but that's that's why we subbed you. I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, you know, uh, that's actually a great point because as far as how not to run a YouTube channel, we had a couple of topics that we wanted to touch on, and I want to make it clear that there are exceptions to every rule, of course, like luck. You know, luck should never be ruled out. It's not to say that hard work, time, and effort can't make for a successful YouTube channel. But Dead Vol's advocate, let's face it, the busty girl that's doing the bad lip singing on TikTok is probably going to get a lot more views than, I mean, guys like us. Yeah. But, you know. Well, at I, least... I've seen your dance moves, and, I mean, <laughs> you still got a shot. Yeah, but at least you have a pair. That is one thing you got. No, I mean, you, you have two people. No! <laughs> Let me rephrase that. You have two people, and you have, I think, a very good advantage when it comes to things. And I think we've talked about that. Because you can look at something, and you can have Lacey either in the shot or you in the shot. Or, you know, just having someone to bounce off of when you're talking. or when it you're can be Like your guys' promo video for the, for the, the con is just... <laughs> It is through the roof. I wish I would have did. Well, I, I guess go me going first was a good thing for you guys because I, I saw yours. I was like, damn, that is how you do a promo video. But 
Well, anyway. jumping into some of the topics, I mean, first and foremost, how not to run a YouTube channel, be a variety channel that apparently does not do you any favors whatsoever. Uh, some make it work, but it's very difficult to grow an audience because, let's face it, the viewer may have come for one specific video and yeah. they want to see more of that. And if the next upload doesn't continue that, they very quickly check out. So this week's video about games draws in viewers, but the next one, not so much because it's about comics. And it's a shame. Uh, finding a niche can really help, of course. And gaming alone, I mean, there's so many niches that you can follow. You know, you can be like a Super Nintendo channel, Sega Genesis channel. Uh, the only problem with that is even though it's super easy to connect with people, it's like, what happens when that burnout sets in? Uh, how often can you talk about Super Nintendo games before I like, know, I'm done? I know burnout and I've done, like I was doing like arcade one-up stuff and then it gets you subs, but then you realize, I don't want to do this no more. And people don't, they don't like that. They really don't. And then when you turn on said subject, oh man. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've, I've never had trolls until recently and it's a, it's a thing. And you know, I don't know what else, I mean, do you know what I'm saying? Like, have you ever had people, they, they just, they want something that you can't even, you don't want to do it. My heart's not in it. I can't do it. I just, I just can't. And that's, I know what it would give me, but I'm not going to go there because I just, yeah. Yeah. It can also be expensive if you don't, or if you're like with the One Up Arcade. If you're you're buying you don't for the have channel. You don't want to keep constantly right. buying for the channel and everything. So that's why and we I'm thought not news would be great. Right. I don't want to be talk about every release. It's just yeah. it's silly. But, I mean, well, if you're into it, that's not silly. But whatever. <laughs> well, something that you've often pointed out in the past is, you know, as far as like trying to niche down, even if it's one system. I mean, how many of us only play like one game over and over again? You know, at least. There may be that comfort game, but you want to play various games. But we kind of look at that in a bigger picture in that we're interested in a lot of different things. Yes. So we want to cover a lot of different things like you would talk about and play a lot of different video games. So don't be a variety channel, but know what repetitiveness you're getting into if you niche down. So. Yeah. It's also easier if you do niche down to stick with a um, community. If you're a variety channel like us, it's harder to find, be able to manage all the different communities out there. It's easier to be in a gaming community or a toy community yeah. when you are like us. You have a lot of communities you've got to keep an eye on <laughs> and keep up with. <laughs> uh, you know, the second thing that I think is a good tip, how not to run a YouTube channel, ignoring numbers, algorithms, and doing what you want. Uh, barring luck and bottling lightning twice, of course. For channel's growth, you really do need to follow those formulas set by YouTube, for better or worse. Uh, do research on what's pulling in viewers, uh, what's keeping them. Obviously, YouTube gives you all the tools to do stuff like that, and it's it's super handy. It's really great. You know, whether it's long-term or long-form videos, it could be shorts, it could be the community tabs, yeah. but you could use the, utilizing the flavor of the mind. I mean, how many videos has anyone seen about DK Oldies? I was just going to say, <laughs> DK Oldies. Why is it a shock that DK Oldies is overpricing games? What, what, how is this news? Any, is anyone? I, I didn't touch it one time. I know you guys would never touch it, but I'm just like, I'm not, there's, but like, Iowa Retro, friend of the channel, Iowa Retro Gamer Dad is... And it's doing him well. But again, I can't go there. I just can't get that. After you beat that horse to death, and I don't know, man. You, <laughs> you, you just got to. I don't know. <laughs> but again, if it's working, I don't fault that person for doing it. But I hope he's enjoying it, or, or whoever's doing it is enjoying what they're doing. Because you can't base a whole channel around DK Holy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. But, you know, the thing is, like, the more that you follow those algorithms, as great as it can be, it really does start to feel like work. And that's kind of, I mean, that's, it's a problem or it's not, depending on right. where you're trying to take your channel. Because if you're working at this, if you want this to be your job, your side hustle, then you may not mind doing all the extra work, you know, following all those numbers, all those formulas, algorithms. But if you're trying to just do it as a hobby, something as an aside, then right. it, it can really kill it because the the fastest way to kill a hobby is turn it into work, yeah. in my opinion. And um, you won't do your videos if you notice they're not getting views or if they're not getting comments. Then you will decide, well, I don't want to do this anymore. No one cares or no one pays attention. 
But if you're having fun with it, that's what will get people to come and watch you and stick around with you. <laughs> the phone this agrees. Is, this portion brought to you by. I just turned it off. I just turned it off. <laughs> Uh, I think a lot of that, though, really comes down to self-reflection as far as why you're doing the channel. If you're doing it as a hobby, obviously you're following a passion of yours. You know, whether those passions are, uh, you know, going on rants because something's bothering you or looking at various ways to fix up a game room with, yeah. you know, things that people yeah. wouldn't think of. I, I love the fact that you look at yeah. places like Hobby Lobby. Yeah, that was it's like my niche was like a to... Hobby Lobby. I would take my dog to Hobby Lobby <clears throat> and we would walk around. And, uh, and look for game room stuff. And you'd be surprised at how many people didn't have any idea. Number one, that you could bring your dog in a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, I didn't know you could take Number your dog in a Hobby Lobby. Number two is how much cool stuff that they have. But then you, then I get trolls going, well, I'm going to hot you. So you support, uh, I don't know, whatever Hobby Lobby's agenda. And I'm going, man, can we just, can we just, <laughs> you know, why do we have to go there? I'm just showing a video about some cool stuff. Do we have to bring in the politics of Hobby Lobby and their religious beliefs, you know, but it's it's crazy. <laughs> That's why YouTube is just, it can drive you nuts. Yes. It really can. And I, there's not a week or two that goes by that I don't say, I am done. And then you get an idea or you get a thought and it does okay and you go, Okay, it's not so bad. And then <laughs> just, just the next video, I'm done. That's it. I'm out. Or there's things where they're like, well, if you want to pay attention to the numbers, look at your highest rated video and redo that. Sometimes you can't do that. Like one of our highest rated videos was a traveling circus. We can't necessarily do multiple we, traveling circuses. We don't circuses. have control over where they go. <laughs> <laughs> or our second highest one was a trip to... Was it Mexico? Mm -hmm. Our Mexico trip that we did a video on. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not made of money. I can't go to Mexico <laughs> every weekend and make another video. So, you know, you can't always pay attention to the numbers in order to do that. But, you know, again, that's, that's the whole faltering part of if you want to run a successful YouTube channel, you got to follow those numbers. But think of the, the cost, the, yeah. the trade-off. <laughs> uh, the third one, this one, I think this is one that all three of us have been <laughs> on such the same level with. Putting self-promotion on the back burner. Do not do that. Yeah. Do not run a YouTube channel and put that on the back burner. And this is tricky because, you know, uh, especially like us, I can speak for us, we grew up in an era of well, he's, he, children he's being the same seen era and not with heard. Us. Yeah. yeah, we grew up in the non-social media era. It's not so, that I don't, I can't do these things or Twitter or Instagram. I don't, I just don't need them at this point in my life. So I don't promote anything. I, if I, I used to do even a community post and say, by the way, because some people might see that versus whatever. I don't even do that anymore. So that's, <laughs> that's not a smart thing to do. Promote it, do it, you know. But I, I still am not going to do it. I'm telling you to do it, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> do what I do. Do what I say, right. not as I do. I, I, I hate Twitter. <laughs> I'm not going to go on there just to, just to promote it. I'm just not. I think for us, our problem is, is we didn't grow up with social media, so it's not second nature to us to tweet this or tweet that or take a picture of this and post this and promote this and do that yeah. because we lived before all of that stuff, so that's... I think that's why. For and that's us, what it, makes it tricky. Yeah, that for it's, us, it just doesn't come to our brains. It's kind of to hard to actually talk about ourselves because we, <laughs> we didn't grow up. Yeah, we, <laughs> talking we were about supposed to be quiet in the corner while the grown ups talk. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the other thing is like social anxieties. I mean, even at a convention, it's, it's so much fun to meet with people, you know, and they're like minded people, but it's so awkward to try to walk up to someone and be like, hi, I'm, I'm Tom. I'm, I've got a channel. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I'll go away now. But, uh, you know, it's still a great thing to do because, you know, generally the person that you're talking to is just they can, as nervous. They can, oh, well, well, I talked to Norm yesterday for the first time ever, and I didn't know what to say to Norm. And I stared at him. So the way my table was configured yesterday, I was literally sitting there and looking at Norm the whole time. And I would look away, and then we, we you know, I was just like, I think at one point he was like, hey. So finally I'm like, I gotta get up and go talk to Norm. This is so bizarre and weird. So I was like, by the way, I'm also a content creator, not like you, but you know, congrats and all that. And it was, it was awkward as heck. But it was he understood. You know, he, he's been there, and yeah. he, you know, so it it was cool though. But it, yeah, I know what you mean. It is weird to, to say something, and or even with a group of other people that that you just met, and someone goes, oh, you do YouTube, and then you go. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> um, I don't really know if I want to talk about it. Or then your wife just goes, 
oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> He's going to... The other thing, talking to someone is one thing. Shoving a camera in their face is another thing. Because we will go around to conventions and we're like, hey, tell me about your stuff. and they Or they'll give you that spiel mm -hmm. immediately. Tell you about everything. And you go, oh, can I get that on camera? No. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's so, like you need a hidden yeah, camera that, on you. That social anxiety, it, it yeah. definitely runs both ways. But, again, you if you want a successful YouTube channel, obviously... Obviously, and maybe unfortunately, uh, you can't put that on a back burner because there's, you know, so many ways that it works. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, you're probably already connected to your friends and family and everything, which is great. Uh, groups, people that you know. Uh, things like hashtags on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok, you know, they pull in the like-minded people. Uh, Instagram, I think, is really great as far as, like, just images and that. It is. Again, I, I, don't, I don't do it, though. <laughs> but are you you're not... I, I know, I Number know. Seven. I don't, I just don't, I don't do it. TikTok's uh, a little easier, though, because even though TikTok uses hashtags, TikTok uses what you watch without you realizing it. So you start building your, like, v viewing library based on what you've stayed a little bit longer on. So that one you don't have to worry about as many hashtags. So that's my problem. I can't think of all the daggum hashtags. <laughs> but I think, I, I guess you can, you can grow and not do that. I would not advise it. For anyone, <laughs> I I think that's kind of in that category of it can happen. It's going to be harder to happen. Yeah. The thing is, though, to uh, to kind of put that opposite spin on it, those can all be a, a chore to remember. They stack up so fast as far as you know. Try to remember. It's like okay, I, I posted a video link on Facebook and Twitter. Did I remember to do something on Instagram? Did, Did I, I get Reddit? Toss out a short on TikTok for something? Did I go post it in a certain group on Reddit? Which is always <laughs> great because the Reddit groups always have their own subset of rules of, you know, well, you can't post a video on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but you can't post anything that's related to a collection except on Mondays. So that's that's a fun time. You have to have a <laughs> spreadsheet just to figure out how to post or where to post. <laughs> <clears throat> And comments, trying to keep up on comments. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm it's using, a good social thing, but I'm using pretty good. Now I did miss Brandon's comment, and I felt awful. I literally did. So, so he asked me a while ago about the coming here, and I never saw it. And I literally, I took it on the phone to heart. I was like, "What video was it? When? When?" And you're like, "I don't know, man." I was, like, but no, I need to know. Because I don't normally do that. YouTube is great, though, for missing comment notifications. It is, because yes. sometimes they will, for whatever reason, something you said, they flag it or it gets held. I don't know. They just... Yeah. We'll get notifications I, from a video that came out three or four months ago, and it's showing up just now as a new comment, and mm -hmm. we'll look and know that comment came out the day it was there, the day the video came out, but they didn't let us know about it until now. And he's good about going back and kind of trying to scroll every once in a while, but sometimes we miss it. And it's, it's just YouTube and not well, letting you know about and I, things. And I know smaller channels that, like, people that I'm subscribed to and they get maybe five or 600, and then I'll comment on a video, and, and then they'll never do, they won't even heart it or thumbs up it, whatever. And I'm thinking, obviously these people, they, they don't care. Because I'm like, you can't even. Just heart it, it takes You're a smaller two channel. <laughs> you can't even. You got six comments. You couldn't have said thanks. Or, I don't know. To me, that. That go, but if it goes back to Brandon. I, I didn't see his, but <laughs> I, I, I think if you want, you've got to have that interaction. You have to, to let people know that you saw that, mm -hmm. and I took the time to read it. Yeah, okay. it's, it's definitely about that social networking. And if it's it negative, is. you can choose to either get into it with that person <laughs> or not. <laughs> Or get them really, really angry and say, thank you for watching. We yeah, really I know. Your, yeah. Your thanks for the, thanks for the view. And then they're like, no, I want to yeah, argue with you. Thanks for the view. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, the, next, the next item I have uh, as far as how not to run a YouTube channel, stay with me on this. It's throwing out a double negative. <laughs> Do not not take it serious. If that's unclear, oh, no, <laughs> if that's unclear, let's see if we can untie this knot of confusion. It says hold for laughter. Um, no. There, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so overlooking lock chance windfalls, of course, uh, considering that you're putting the work into it, you don't want to not take it serious. I mean, this is something that you're working at, of course. Uh, for instance, quality. 
First of all, the thing that we always tell people that have any kind of interest in starting a YouTube channel, just do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, if, most of the time, cell phones have such a nice camera Amazing on them anyway. Uh, and the great thing is, you know, you start with like a cell phone camera and then you can upgrade to a better camera or something. If you choose so to. So says the people to. recorded this on a cell phone. Um, <laughs> but then... I'm right with you though. Smaller uh, quality of life improvements. Lights mm -hmm. and mics. Yes. Like, and you can get those for less than, you know, $20, $30 yeah, on yeah. Amazon. And they're great microphones, lapel mics, handheld mics, you know, lighting. You know, even if you can't afford that, just get a, a you know, one of those directional lamps at home until you can afford lighting. Yeah, ring light or something. But yeah, they're amazing. It, and you'd be surprised at the quality your video becomes once you get lighting, even on just a cell phone camera. Mm -hmm. And the best thing is, you know, once you get started, those little quality of life improvements, they're, they're so easy to take mm -hmm. as you need it instead of thinking, well, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I need $1,500 of capital just yeah. to get all the equipment that I need. <laughs> but the whole point is, you know, don't not take it serious. So don't think, well, I'm just going to, you know, record on this, you know, 2013, I don't know, what's an old iPod Nokia thing? thing? Something like that. <laughs> I don't know the technology. Old, the old Nokia's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm there just going to go. record this on my Zoom. It'll be fine. Zoom. Uh, Everyone uses Zoom. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, if you're trying to have a good YouTube channel, obviously you want to think of other ways that you can make nice improvements, such as B-roll. B-roll is such a huge thing that helps mm -hmm. us so much. We rarely script anything, uh, believe it or not. And <laughs> B-roll is so great at hiding all of those things that I can fix in editing. I'm a so, so I start a lot of sentences with so, and I don't always notice that until I'm editing. So then, <laughs> so I, so, oh my God, please stop saying so. Uh, but with B-roll, you know, you can get in all those nice edits and everything and clean all of that up, but it's part of taking it serious. So don't not take it serious and just toss whatever out there. I mean, this is, this yeah. is what you want to do. Is, is thumbnails on there? Thumbnails. Oh thumbnails are a big one, yeah. We're, I used we're the to worst. totally stress about, I mean, I would get like anxiety, like the video would be done and then I'd go and, I can't, I can't think of anything, I can't, I can't come, like this creative thing couldn't come out. And then I talked with another guy who was a content creator and he was like, you're overthinking it big time. Like I would show him like, how does this look? And he'd be like, it's bad, it's really bad. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, so what, he's like, you're just overthinking it. Like keep it simple like even people with a million subs there's like car guys like a hoobies garage or something he just uses like a they call it a banger font it's just a just him in a picture with the car and just in bold letters or whatever it's all well you don't always need a flashy that can help to get people's yeah. attention but you don't need it like they've been put my i used to never put my face on that never and i just do it if i if i'm just that lazy but it but then you catch them with the with the text you put something, hate to say clickbaity, but you just do. And it doesn't have to be that crazy. So that's that's that would be some big advice. I just think that don't don't overthink it. Yeah, you can do a great thumbnail if you're really good with, with graphic design and whatever, but you don't have to have it. You really don't. If the video is good and the, and the thumbnail is catchy or whatever, it works. Yeah. Speaking of, I mean for the video, should we do like thumbnail face? I don't I don't know. <laughs> And then red arrows. <laughs> or the point Yeah, the arrow. I just started getting the arrows. The arrows are amazing. You'd be surprised at how much a curvy arrow pointing to something is. Everyone does it, but it works. Or a blurry image and it's something is circled or like a red. There's <laughs> yeah. a lot of those. <laughs> or a WTF. Or an exclamation point followed by a, or a question mark and an exclamation yeah, Whatever. It's just, <laughs> oh, I got to watch this. What is, what is going on there? Yeah, so... <laughs> Don't not take it serious. Obviously, it's, it's the work you're doing, so take it serious. And the, the final tip that I have, which is, is funny, I'm talking about clickbait and the types of thumbnails you're describing. <laughs> Clout chasing, clickbait, drama, don't, don't do that. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe that's more of a personal thing because does it work? Of course it oh, yeah. works. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It works so well. It works remarkably well, but it's such a flash in a pan. You know, um, I think it's it's once you go there, Tom, you can't go back. If you exactly. throw another YouTuber exactly. under the bus, 
it's like if you did that one movie and you took your clothes off, but mm -hmm. you're always gonna be a yeah. porn star, even though you did it one time, <laughs> one time. But that's I can't, I, you can't really take it back. I mean, you could delete the video, I guess, but they're always gonna. It's still out there. You went after so and so, yeah. or you said whatever. But I, I do like to give my opinion, but I try not to go after someone personally. The best thing to do to somebody when they do that, they hate it when you don't respond. They really do because they want to get your goat, and if they know you didn't, then they're just going to quit. They're going to move on to the next guy. Well, I'm going to razz this one until he makes a response for you, because that's what I want to see. I want to see a response, so then I can say something, and then you're going to say something, yeah. and I'm going to make it worse, and, and it just never ends. It never ends. And that's the problem, as well as it works, because yeah. of that exact point. Yeah. It's the fact that, you know, now that you've become this drama channel, it's like, okay, well, once this target dies off, now you've got to find a new yeah, one. Yeah, you know, so who's to, who's the yeah. next person you're going to have that interaction with? And you're always having to try to find that because again, it's it's just whatever spur of the moment. Yeah. Uh, or it could even be with the businesses again, with like the DK oldies. You know, it's like what's the next thing? I've already seen some videos popping up. Is Lukey Games as bad as oh, DK man. oldies? <laughs> you know, and it's like, so are you just? It, I mean, is it, or are you just trying to follow up on the DK Oldies thing because maybe that's starting to taper off? Yeah. You know, so it doesn't have yeah. that that retention level uh, that you want for your audience, and it definitely doesn't have that evergreen content because, as far as like this drama goes, and as far as uh, you know, the clickbaity stuff goes with certain companies or whatever is happening at the time. As mm -hmm. great as that is at the time is anyone going to come back next year and watch your video? And that's yeah. something that you want. You want that evergreen content. You know, that's why things like a game room tour can always do well, yeah. because it doesn't matter if you change that thing over 50 times, people still want to come back and see mm -hmm. that. Or they want to see the progression of your game room. Or yeah. uh, even convention videos, yeah. uh, you know, because it's always fun to look back and see how much they change. Like, you know, you watching this 10 years from now, <laughs> look at how big All-in-One Gaming Expo has become <laughs> exactly. you know, from, from, from yeah. such a, modest beginnings but uh <laughs> but and the whole clout chasing thing as far as that goes it's like don't try to build your channel off of the the popularity of someone else you know don't go to a convention just to have so and so you know shout out your channel and be like oh hey you know look now i've got 10,000 subs because this guy said my name in his yeah. video yeah. and everything and but then if that channel then does something terrible and they become enemy number one guess who now gets to become enemy number two <laughs> because you're following you clout chase them and they associate you with that person yeah well so. I've heard stories too that sometimes at events and conventions people start to realize that that's you know what you're doing and it's like well it's like, all right, everyone's going to get together and, and meet up for dinner, but let's let's not have that guy come because he just, I don't know, he just kind of wants shout outs. And, yeah. and it's like, well, you know, just be the person that's being part of this community. That's, mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, it may just be a personal preference when yeah. I'm saying that. Maybe it's not even a tip at all. It's probably not. But <laughs> now, uh, we've don't do that. We've be been better around than enough that. of them, but, you know, we can, we can tell. And it, it, it's kind of off-putting, I think, you know, so... Um, well, in summary of how not to run a YouTube channel, don't be a variety channel, although we love a variety of things. <laughs> For your channel's sake, consider adopting a niche. Just be prepared of the potential burnout and difficulty in expanding your brand. Uh, pretty simple. So number two, you can do what you want to do, but if you ignore those algorithms, formulas, all of the stuff that YouTube puts in place for you, if you're not utilizing their tools, as much fun as you're having for your channel, it may not be working for your channel, but you have to find that balance of, do you want just a successful channel or do you want to have fun with your channel? Uh, Self-promotion, social anxiety if you're too modest. Just do it. TS, push yeah. yourself out there yeah. in person. Yeah, like it or not, uh, social media brands in person, it, uh, it builds a bigger brand. So, And you just want to be part of the community anyway, yes. because it's a lot of fun. Uh, the double negative, do not not take things serious. Get it started, but focus, upgrade all of your equipment. I, even if you're not making like huge upgrades in your equipment, think about the, the tech that you're using, the software that you're using, just your own things that you're doing. Uh, we have a silly little cylinder carousel thing that rotates very very slowly i think it was for a light or a candle or something yeah. and i use it for b-roll all the time and it makes such a world of difference it seems so silly but it's so much nicer than being like 
you know, hey, I got this. You can barely see it. All right, we're moving on. You know, I take the time to put that B-roll in there. You get a nice look at what we picked up, and you start to think, hey, I want to pick that thing up too. And there's a link in the description, so now I can buy that. And they get the money, and we don't, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> and in the drama field, it works, but it's a single fish quick meal. I mean, you know, let's face it, you got to know how to fish to keep eating. Right, so yeah. don't want to just don't want to just do that one thing that gets you a bunch of views one day. You want something that does the long term thing. I'm in it for the long term. <laughs> that was that was free. I don't know about I, don't, I can't comment on that. Uh, my sincerest, most honest tip though is don't shoot for greatness. I mean, just have fun with it. Uh, make it a hobby. You know, from me, my heart to you. If success comes, all the better. But in the meantime, just have fun. Be part of a community. We have so many memories of amazing people that we've got to meet and hang out with on personal yeah. levels. Uh, you know, getting to come to such great conventions and meeting more and more people. The, the artists, the talented creators and everything here. Uh, you know, and you, you start to get to know people who will make you great deals on video games. Hey, you won't get it from DK Oldies, am I right? Um, <laughs> but you build those friendships that's not simply a convenience of geography yeah. or anything. That's and my favorite thing about YouTube in general is just the connections that we've made with friends. All the friends I never would have met before because they are across the country or across the pond even. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got to meet them through YouTube, so. Right. So that's Did you that's have all any trivia? my rambling. Did you think of any trivia? Or? I I told you before my trivia <laughs> was was bad um, trivia. Why don't we do a trivia? Let's, year, let's, how Nintendo many subscribers? Who can get the closest to Tom and Lacey's subscriber count? Oh, that, I, I don't even I don't know. know. <laughs> hey, no, I, 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 you guys I, have a better chance to be. Does anybody the closest know? without going over? Should we do that for a prize? I got some plushies Good, because go I went it. crazy on the plushies. We're giving out plushies. <laughs> They're good ones. Remember the, what year Nintendo was founded? <laughs> oh, yeah, we, need, uh, we need two, we need two trivia is. questions. As the, as the Hanafune card manufacturer? Mm -hmm. I'm saying Nintendo, not the NES. <laughs> oh, oh, did I, I, did did I, I ruin it? That's a probably a tough one. So we don't want to do the Tom and Lacey subscriber? I mean, you can do that if you want, but I don't even know. Because it'd be almost look. like Price is Right. We want, to, we, we want to get, without going over, <laughs> And you can't say one dollar. Or we, well, I guess you could. You could say one dollar. That's what I was saying. <laughs> that always cracks me up. On... How much did he bid? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred and one, please. <laughs> and then that person's going, oh, you seriously? Great. And then they win, and you're like, oh. All right. Well, I've, I've got both pulled up. I have the Nintendo one and the the subscriber. But I will tell you this: it's okay. not what you think for Nintendo. So I'm. If I get this wrong, please do not tell Sean. He will divorce me. Um, <laughs> it's either 1932 or 1964. Older. We won't tell Sean, Older? though. Okay. <laughs> That's why I said it's not what you think. No, I know that it's, I know that it's like, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, it's like 1978, then they're going to do it. Yes. And it's like, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, was it eight? She really wants a plushie. 1880? <laughs> You're close. Yeah. Well, are we going to get some other, so we can get some more guesses? Fun. I was just going to say 1800 and see if something close, guess something close, <laughs> so you already guess something close. <laughs> Anybody else? I'm, I'm like, she's wow, got 100 years old. She's, I've got my guess. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Nintendo. Nintendo, I, yeah, I'm thinking 1975. I'm like, I'm I won us many a contest with this question. And he t they always will pull this up, and I'm always like, I know this one. <laughs> will you be able to give me some history? Oh, you no. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just remember the date. 1870. 1870. So we're going closest without going over? Yeah. And you said 1880? She said 1880. You got a guess? No. You can just throw a number out there. Can't go over. <laughs> this, is like, this, is like, this is like the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> One dollar. Eighty and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was. Oh. <laughs>
I'm going to say it takes Well, it was <laughs> September 23rd, 1889. They started out. Oh! With, they started out with playing cards. Yeah, we well, got a ba -bomb. Well, we still got another one. We got a ba bomb, or you want a toad? Right here. Look at that! Look at Fire that throw. That's how so I So now the subscriber Hands count. Right through it. Current numbers. <laughs> I want to down to the. <laughs> okay, without going over. News to me. Wow. Without going. Yes. Yeah. I was, like, I was thinking it was 19, like playing cards I isn't you think. I like, with the like queen, queen king on it. It was a different form of playing cards, but yeah. Okay, so subscriber yes. count. Because Nintendo is first going and over. Totally you're probably, you're going to get, Brandon's going to get. I don't rightly know. I'm just going to say 4,200. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome! When, when he hears oh, the no. truth, he's gonna kick us out and be like, oh, I didn't want you guys out of this. We're problem. not Norm where we're eating a bowl of grapefruits and find out we, you know, <laughs> reached so, yeah, a million somebody, million somebody just give a guess. Norm did? Yeah. He said I was sitting in my kitchen eating um, grape million, nuts and my yeah. mother in law texted me and told me I had a million. <laughs> he goes, I didn't even know. <laughs> That's so I know, I'll be like, oh, darn, I was just eating breakfast and whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Take, come on, take a good guess. Not quite like that, <laughs> what he said. <laughs> yeah, not the 4,200. <laughs> 1,500? Okay, what do you say? Um, 2,700. 2,700. Well, yeah. right now, it is at 2,941. Yeah, we didn't even realize that. Uh, I, have, I have a question for Brandon. No, for Brandon, uh, because Brandon, yeah, because Brandon does this as well. I want to get his take on YouTube. If you can, in a nutshell, kind of, did anything? Could you agree, disagree, add to? I, I, I think that I've learned by promoting this event a lot that because I only ever just tweet it out one time, and I share it all one time, like with my own videos, and I just put in the things that I. Sit out but you do reviews and stuff too on things. So yeah, I, I'm always just thinking about the next thing and not the, I guess, the longevity of that one. Because usually my stuff, the stuff that I review has brand names and stuff associated with it. But when I'm doing things of just my own fun fruition, I, I still don't promote them that much. And so I, that was the thing I noted the most because I agree. Because after promoting this event, it's obvious that had I not promoted this event, <laughs> that uh, it probably would have been a smaller you know, it, it, ordeal. So. I think that's the, the big thing that I, that I have to agree with. Um, although it makes me have a question: Do you has there ever been a time you've forgotten to share a video uh, like on socials, and then like a week later you promote it? Does it still do well? Like if you let it go for a step of time? In my experience, it doesn't do as well. I mean, obviously you'll you'll never know what you missed out on that first time around. Yeah. But there have been numerous times when I'll have something go up uh, via a scheduled post because I'll already think if I don't schedule this, I'll forget to post it at all. <laughs> so I'll have it scheduled and then when it goes out, it may forget to put something out there. Hey, oh, by the way, we dropped a new video today. And it may be a couple of days later, even as long as a week later before I actually do that. And it doesn't seem to get the traction that it did or it would have if I would have done it from the start because I think that people like that newness. Yeah. Um, if they had maybe clicked on your channel and it takes away that little notification like dot on your subscribe list and then they may think, oh, well, I clicked on their channel. I didn't miss anything. I don't yeah. know what he's talking about. There's that video. I must have watched mm -hmm. it. So. Yeah, yeah. We've been doing these, what, six, seven years now? Too long. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we've never missed an upload on Wednesday. Even when we've gone out of town, on vacation, had deaths in the family, nobody ever knows any wow. of that stuff because yeah. we always have something scheduled. That scheduled is great. I've never yeah. kept and to so, it. Yeah, and so, like you said, that, <laughs> that's when we would because miss, it, like, it just, showing, sharing. I just don't have, I guess, I don't know, it's just me again, and I don't have, I usually don't have the next one even in the... In the world, it's just sometimes my brain just doesn't function. I kind of once I get one done, there's a sense of relief, and then you you can coast. And then, but then I think, oh, crap, what am I gonna? Now do? I gotta do something for next week. Something else. But, <laughs> um, I don't know. But I, I was gonna say too that you never know what can work. Case in point is that Hobby Lobby stuff. I mean, even though the later ones didn't do as well as the first one, the first one is still going. It's just constantly like fifteen, twenty thousand. I don't know views of me and Max. 
at Hobby Lobby. Who would have thought? Take your dog everywhere. Yeah. I know. Obviously, yeah. but I mean, people it, love it's, animals. It's so, it's so odd. But then I did a short. This is another thing. Like I really do shorts. Some do well. But I did a five thousand. I bought Metroid Prime. I did a short on it. Forty second short, over five thousand views. It was terrible. But I, just me going. I literally turned the camera on. I was like, "No, could it be here? Could it be here?" And then I. It was a genuine reaction. But still, I, I turned the camera off and cut, got or missed some good footage of the gal because she said, "We just found that in the back and just put it out." And I'm like, "No way!" Well, I didn't turn the camera on and miss all that. But then just then turn it back on as I'm walking out, going, "I can't believe I got the last one at Walmart." So I just titled that short, uh, "Last." Uh, Metroid Prime remastered found at local Walmart and it literally it tanked for like a day and then it just 5,000 views even though it's not any Shorts revenue because it's 40 seconds <laughs> it's still who I don't know how many subs came from that and how many comments from a short I never get comments from a short never but it's it's like resonated with it, it's bizarre that something so silly they don't get him and so dumb <laughs> it can can really produce um, what a, yeah, I don't know. It, it's even if you don't have an opinion on things, though, you still you still have a brand name in the Hobby Lobby video. You have the brand name of the Metroid Prime stuff. So even my videos are yeah. like two years old. If somebody just bought an arcade one-up cabinet, now they want to do like a mod on it. My, I, like I randomly get just like yeah, brand name yeah. things, just like yeah. shared with like viewers, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what the hell? I made that like right. So oh like, yeah. I'm guessing like with your guys' like event videos. I, I'm willing to bet people like watch them like before the event is about to happen yep. in the following year. Yeah, yes, that's the, the name is just yeah. That's why we like doing event coverages because they are evergreen. The you know they always go up after the event for us, so mm -hmm. we don't catch that crowd, but we catch the next year's crowd, whether it's an an event or a ren fair, because people want to say, oh, do I want to go to this yeah. ren fair? Well, let me watch a video on it, or let me see a floor tour, because that was something with our event coverages that we didn't see in everybody else's event coverage. We show the floor. A lot of people yes. show, like, my gosh, this place is so cool. Look at this place. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not seeing what you're seeing. So our event coverage is always focused on the floor. So you can tell if you really want to go to this event or not. And so that's when we get it the next year, you know. And we've had a lot of local conventions. People will tell us, I decided to go be a vendor at this show because I watched your video and I thought I could make money there. Yeah, when they can so, see the, the number of people on the floor and if yeah. it feels like it's, you know, a marketable space. Mm -hmm. That uh, the Comic Con in your area looked really fun. Yeah, like, the, the like Missouri really they just went to. They had a lot yeah, of Yeah, that people. one was fun. I couldn't believe like when the door was open, they, it was I just thought I didn't know how big we'd be on like Missouri Comic Con. Like I've I've seen the Wizard Cons and all that, but this was this was different, and it seemed like it was crazy, like uh, busy and, it was. and yes. fun. Yeah. Lots, of, <laughs> little lots bit. of cosplay. It looked really fun. Too many people for my liking, but that's okay. <laughs> I find a little quiet corner somewhere. I mean, were there <laughs> any other questions from anybody? Yes. Um, not necessarily a question, but more of a statement. Like, um, as a consumer, I wanted to make a statement about your guys' mention of like social anxiety and promoting yourself. Like, you guys coming to there. And being so sweet and so kind and so like approachable and me knowing that you were YouTubers, I was like, oh cool, because they've been so cool this whole convention and I've seen them just like interacting with everyone, being so sweet, I became like instantly interested in wanting to watch your stuff. So well, like you don't you. have to necessarily even come thank up to me and say, hey, I'm a YouTuber. You just have to like be kind. Maybe like I would maybe suggest um to everyone watching like getting your own brand stuff wearing it and then somebody would be like is that a thing you like and you're like no actually i'm a part of it and be like you're like oh man that's so cool you're a cool person i want to support you as a person i always felt so, like, weird about the, the the branding of of merch i always had a weird thing <laughs> and i don't knock anybody and i bought uh, because it's, I, I'm a t-shirt guy and video game dance has the be and the, the quality of this yeah but this is like sure. like this is something I would wear but to wear like my own I have one shirt that I made with my logo that I don't even like wear out I might have wore it one at Mo game con only yeah. because I was trying to kind of see how it works but then I thought this is really weird I'm it's like uh, it's like going to the it's like going to a concert and wearing that band I always was told 
That is a definite no-no. Like, See, you're I think, there. I think there's a difference. Wait, wait, that's probably a whole other panel, right? Like, is, is that not cool or is it cool? I think it's banned people you, you or feel this. that way. You should have always done this. Yeah. No, See, we always, I was we always. Yeah. But I, see, I, you can have this argument all day long. Yeah. They will tell you like that that's not right. Point, like, like you're there to see them. They know you're there to see them. Why are you wearing their shirt? Because they know you're supporting them. And they know that you've been to either past shows or have bought their stuff. Okay, here's where here's where I think it's cool. If you got a. Is that what you're saying? No, never do that. <laughs> no, no, I, no. Where's the very first shirt they ever made? Yeah, like, right, oh, no, man, no, I that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's yeah. cool going back and getting one that, like, the, the one show they did in 95 or whatever. That was that tour, and you're like, oh. But, like, yeah, I've been told that that is not cool to do. Literally, we, I've had this conversation with friends, like, are you going to wear their, their, their shirt? And, and it's like... I don't know. Do I want to be that guy? And I said, I think oh, I know is that bad? That. And literally, <laughs> I'm Googling it going, <laughs> is it cool? And then you got like massive threads on Reddit going, don't be that guy. Don't. I don't, I don't think so. No. I'm a big supporter of like, if you like them, wear their stuff. And mm -hmm. but, but like, I guess wearing your own thing now, like those guys, again, they have the best shirts. Some people do it. I think it's just how maybe you carry yourself. I feel weird about doing it. I did it one time. I was just like. Uh, I don't know. I don't, not even in videos, but then you got like See, I uh, don't. Gary. You know, like Gary always his wears his yeah, robes. Like I, every yeah, I, we used to always wear our shirts to conventions, but then I started a job where I have to wear an, a uniform, and I don't get to wear my nerdy shirts anymore. So now when I go to conventions, I'm like, I want to wear my nerdy shirt. <laughs> I don't want to wear us. But we usually, we used to always pick one of our shirts that we, with our does that logo designs on it because then people would do that. They'd be like, oh, that's really cool. But then sometimes I forget what I was wearing and I'd be like, oh, cool, thanks. And walk away and I'd be like, oh yeah, I should have talked about that. Well, <laughs> so, I think that's a tremendous idea yeah, it is because a, yes, yes, as you said, as she reinstated, yeah. uh, it's it's a great way to engage with people. Yeah. And also, yeah, this is a huge eye thank catcher. you. Thank you for the yeah. kind words. Absolutely. I think that's the best tip ever. Just yeah. be kind. Yes. Just yeah. put yourself out there and be kind. Yeah. There have been plenty of people that I love, and then I find out that, like, actors specifically. My sister's yeah. very into The Walking Dead. She met all of the voice, not voice, yeah, the actors of The Walking Dead, and she came back and she's like, well, that's not my favorite character anymore. Oh. And I'm like, oh. oh. No, and it's heartbreaking. You yeah, know? yeah it is. People you love so yeah, much you've yeah. What's so what's the saying? That don't you don't don't meet your don't, heroes. Don't meet your heroes. Yeah. 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 But if you true. meet somebody who ends up being your hero later, whatever. well, there's been <laughs> there's been a few people that I've gone to conventions and I've watched their panels and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're a lot of fun. And I'll look more into whatever you know. They're either what's a voice actor or a actor actor. And I'm like, okay, I kind of like you now. You know, like Casper Van Dien. I kind of paid attention to his career because he came up the same era as me. But then after going to a panel of his, I was like, he is so much fun. So it's like I look at more of his stuff, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? Can yes, sir. I have a question on the analytics side. Like, often when you hear YouTubers talk about uh, releasing content and something doing really, performing really well, or you'll hear a YouTuber talk about, man, this video laid dormant for a year, and then all of a sudden it just took off. Um, me as a viewer or somebody uh, that consumes the content, um, I am busy a lot. So I don't get to watch stuff, my favorite YouTubers on a regular basis. So I don't get to see right when they drop. I'll get a bulk of time and then I'll just watch like six or 10 of their videos back to back to back to back. Is that anything that you guys ever see on the analytics side on the back end? Do you see that sometimes where all of a sudden all of your videos just start going up or is it, is it more of just when it catches the trend? It, well, what I would say, they might have caught one. Uh, and there's an there's a analytic for that. Is it called or, um, click, click through rate? Or basically, yes. so basically, if they saw one thing and was like, I like this guy. And then they start going through. And then you'll get comment, 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 comment mm -hmm. of all this old stuff. Because they're, now they're like, well, I'm going to go through all this. Yeah. But I have found then you might do one that strikes a negative chord with that person and then you'll notice a slight bump in things and then then you'll be then they'll just stop they'll never kind of because so whatever I don't know you might, might have said something or maybe you didn't agree with them maybe you like something they don't and then they're like ah man I thought I liked this guy now he's a, he's a dick. <laughs> so I don't know I but I have found that and it's it's weird you'll just see like a, a spike and, and you're like wow this this video is old as dirt but yet it's this person just found it because they saw something else newer they went back 
and they just went through everything. Mm -hmm. I did that with, with Metal Jesus years ago. I went, but you know, I saw one whatever, and then just went back and did the whole thing. You kind of like what he was saying. Just yeah. went, just did a binge of like right. of all of it. I on that note, I think I notice it more if that's the the case. If a lot of comments are left. And then you can tell that they're going through maybe a backlog mm -hmm. of videos. <laughs> Otherwise, as far as the numbers, I don't really see anything that changes in that unless there's a specific topic from that video that gets, you know, a, a group of views more. Um, but yeah. nothing as far as the numbers really kind of start to spike if just an old video with a couple of views gets a, a few watches. Um, kind of in the point of, as she was saying, with last year's conventions or renaissance mm -hmm. festivals that we'll cover you know the following year when people start to watch those we don't really see that in the numbers but we'll definitely see it in the comments mm -hmm. uh, we've been actually picking up some we, we go to the oklahoma renaissance festival yeah. of people you know starting to talk about that now because their season is opening up soon yeah so clearly they're they're kind of looking to see it's like okay what's what's this ren fair all about so now that they're they're seeing this video they're leaving some comments to let us know that they are checking it out a year later. Yep. <laughs> YouTube's a fickle, fickle. <laughs> yes. It's a weird yes, it thing, is. man. Anything else from anybody? Um, I know that some channels that I've seen have been like, we can't curse anymore in our videos because of the algorithm. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> there we go. I don't know anything about it. It's just people talking like, I have to do this, I have to do this. But then, the child friendly thing. Yeah, and I don't, if so anything, do you I see a to? decrease in their views. And I'm like, why did you change all this to have literally 100,000, if not more, people not watch your video? Anyway, like. I, I can comment on this because I, I, I have made a change. Yeah, I, I've made a change because I am getting older. I, I don't really want to have, I guess, a filter as much. I want to just say, I don't want to have no regrets. I want to say what I want to say. So if I throw an F bomb in there, but it's, it's not in, 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 in an inappropriate way, I think, because there's a tactful way to kind of. Anyway, I mean, even some of my favorite 1 million sub YouTubers. Uh, Chris Stuckman's a great movie reviewer. Gosh, he drops a bunch of F-bombs. <laughs> but he does it in a very respectful way that somehow enhances the review. <laughs> and I can't stress that enough. So yeah. I have been doing that lately, and I, I don't see a problem with it because that's just who I am. And I, I have no regrets, and you know, because it's just, it's just words. And well, I'm just maybe expressing yeah, so a point. You, so then you guys have. Like, We've the, never like, done that. The thing yeah. we're check marked, like permanently where it's. And like, I don't know if how that. It's family friendly or what have you. So well, no, I always check it. Whether even I cursed or not, I still always check not appropriate. I don't know about you. No, we've always been. That was one of our big things in the beginning when we started our channel is we always made sure that we were family friendly. Okay. Because. But don't you get restrictions on what. If, they, if you check the box, it. Um, we um, I could have there's certain ads that can't be on there. Or they don't it, the the algorithm won't show it to certain other okay, people. Okay, we'll put that back in the script. <laughs> um, if you're yeah, so I probably am doing that wrong and maybe restricting. But I always thought just in case I'm gonna check that for whatever reason. I just wanted to cover my. my we don't uh, we don't do the check of like full on kids like yeah. kids only content. Yeah. Because that we do, that puts you yeah. in a whole different we, set. I, I would say we're PG thirteen. Isn't there one that's like eighteen and older is okay? And yeah. Right. Three options are. We um. I heard there's an unwritten of, yeah. rule of actually I've heard there's an unwritten rule of YouTube doesn't like in that first sixty seconds to have. A, have you heard that? Yes. Yeah. And I think that they've changed that a few times. Yeah. Because yeah. well. there's some somewhere in the middle there too. Is We've there, always been family friendly. About if there's kids in the video. Yeah, that yeah. can be yeah. tricky. It turns off the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it it is tricky. The family vloggers. Yeah. Yeah. But um we've always cuz I've I when we first started this, I had really young nieces and nephews. So we wanted to make sure that we were always very family friendly that anyone could watch us anywhere. You didn't have to be yeah. NSF or anything like that. So, but if you know us in real life, that is not True. Well, yeah. From me. Yeah, I made a conscious I decision to mouth. just, I want to filter some of that in because I didn't want to be, not that Bill Cosby, or what, I didn't want to be like the, the, the no swear gamer or whatever. I like, I just wanted to be me. So I just yeah. thought if I don't interject a little bit of that in, maybe I'm, I'm not saying that being vanilla or whatever, there's nothing wrong with that. 
for me, I just I felt like I had to be a little bit truer to me. And, and by doing that, it's throwing a few curse words in there every now and then. <laughs> we just look at it as <laughs> being professional. No. Right. Fuck yeah, it. Fuck it. it. I don't give a fuck. No, Ours right. is just more of a, we were trying to be professional. No, like, we're not going to totally, run around and, Walmart and no, F this, F and that. And honestly, if you guys you did, know. no, here, well, if you guys Walmart. did do well, it. Well, yeah, maybe. No, I mean, <laughs> but again, if you did do it, it would be weird. Like, it's, it's I've not had a few people you, freak out when they hear me curse. Is, so <laughs> don't do it because it wouldn't, it would be weird, you know, but I think hopefully as I transition it, if people just go, well, that's okay, that's just what Pat said or whatever. But with you guys, it, it would if you just all of a sudden started doing it, it would be odd. It is weird because we I, we play Minecraft with some friends online and um, uh, Mike Retro Gamer Boy. We were playing and I think I dropped one, some curse word and all I hear very quietly over the headset was, oh, Lacey said a curse word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sorry. Dollar in the swear jar. <laughs> but it's one of those things, it's like we're not, it's not that it's not us on screen by being professional or family friendly. It's just, you know, there's... You have other... Views. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, I mean, in, if you meet us in person, we're the exact same people you see on the screen as we are in person. It's just some 100%. more choice <laughs> words <laughs> sometimes, depending on the situation. <laughs> Anything well, else? That's good. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, yeah thank guys, you very thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And, and, you know, once more, uh, just a huge shout out, seriously. Everyone that's been here that's supported us, you yeah. know, online, in person, and uh, the amazing people that put on expos like this, yeah, All in One Gaming Expo. Uh, I mean, you guys yeah. Look, really did. It wasn't did. a laugh track. It wasn't a laugh track. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> the guy's not a laugh track. There was actually people here. <laughs> but you guys really put on a great show. It, it means the world to us that you would consider us, so thank you. Yes, yeah, we appreciate that very much.